Did you know that back in Jesus's day, back in this time when he was born, shepherds didn't have the best of reputations. They were looked at as kind of being weird. Here you have a bunch of guys that live out in the middle of nowhere, live out in the desert. And all they do all day is take care of sheep. Sheep being these animals that keep scurrying away, that you have to keep bringing them back into the fold. And who in their right mind would want to take care of these kind of creatures? And yet, for all of their oddities, for all of their lack of connection with society, for all the strange glances that they would have received. It's these shepherds that the angel comes to. It's to these shepherds that the message that the Christ child is being born, that God is coming into this world to offer the means of salvation to all people. That message the beautiful and wonderful and glorious message is given to these shepherds, these people that everyone else would have overlooked. If God is willing to send his messengers to these shepherds, these people who would have been seen as weird by everyone else around them, how much more will God reach out to us? How much more will God reach out to you in your lives to give you that message of grace and hope and salvation? That's the great thing with what we see with the shepherds. It reminds us that even if we are seen as weird, even if people look at us funny, God still loves us. God still wants to reach out to us and be in relationship with us. God still very much sees us as important and worthy of hearing his message. Because the truth is, is that God is always reaching out to us. Just as the Christ child reached out with his arms, little baby Jesus reaching out with his arms to the world. So God does with all of us. All we need to do is take that time to listen. It doesn't matter who we are. It doesn't matter how others perceive us. God is still there. And God is reaching out to each and every one of us with that glorious news and message of salvation.